the sum and product of the roots. So the sum and product of the roots can be taken from a quadratic equation. And we know that a quadratic equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. So x here is our variable. A, B, A and B, they are the numerical coefficients, and C is the constant. Now, for the product of the roots, the product of the roots is x sub 1. Multiply that by x sub 2. And for the sum of the roots, we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2. Now, x sub 1 times x sub 2 and x sub 1 plus x sub 2, they are taken from the values of a, b, and c. The formula for x sub 1 times x sub 2, this is c divided by a. And the formula for sum of the roots or x sub 1 plus x sub 2, that is negative b all over positive a. So these are the formulas for the product of the roots, that is x sub 1 times x sub 2, and sum of the roots x sub 1 plus x sub 2. The sum and product of the roots. Let's have an example. So we will have here x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation and this is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. Since this has a second term which is raised to the power of 2 and this has a term with a variable x and the last term is the constant okay so we can now get the values of a b and c okay the value of a here this is the numerical coefficient of our first term now since there is no numerical coefficient on our first term, this is understood that the numerical coefficient is 1. Since 1 multiplied by x squared, that is equal to x squared. So our a here is positive 1. And then our value for b, this is the numerical coefficient of our second term, and this is negative 6. The value for c or our third term or constant, this is positive 5. And now we are going to get first the sum of the roots. So the sum of the roots, this will be x sub 1 plus x sub 2. The formula for the sum of the roots is negative b all over a. We will just substitute the values. So we will have here negative. Our b is negative 6. And the, this will be divided by the value of a, which is positive 1. So negative times negative is positive. So this will be positive 6 all over 1. 6 divided by 1 is 6. So our x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is positive 6. <coughs> now let's proceed to the product of the roots. Our product of the roots, or x sub 1, times x sub 2, this will be equal to c all over a. The value of c here, that is positive 5, divided by the value of a, which is positive 1. 5 divided by 1, this is positive 5. So therefore, our x sub 1 times x sub 2 is positive 5. So x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is positive 6 and x sub 1 times x sub 2 is positive 5. Sum and product of the roots. 
let's have another example we will have 5 x squared plus 3 x equals to 7 this is a quadratic equation because it has on it has a variable and it is raised to the power of 2 but let's make this of the form ax squared plus bx plus c so first we need to transpose positive 7 to the other side transposing we will have 5 x squared plus 3 x if we transpose positive this will change sign this will become negative 7 and what will be left here is 0 okay so this is now of the form a x squared plus b x plus c equals to 0 so we can get the values of a b and c our a here this is the numerical coefficient of our first term this is positive 5 our b is the numerical coefficient of our second term that is positive 3 and our c is our constant this is negative 7 and we can now find the sum of the roots the sum of the roots is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 x sub 1 plus x sub 2 that is negative b all over a so our b here so this is negative our b is positive 3 divided by our a which is positive 5 so we cannot simplify this anymore negative 3 divided by 5 this is our sum of the roots so x sub 1 plus x sub 2 our x sub 1 times x sub 2 the formula for this is c all over a so our c here is negative 7 and this will be divided by a which is positive 5 so let's make this as an improper fraction so this will be negative 1 and 7 minus 5 that is 2 divided by 5 so our x sub 1 times x sub 2 is negative 1 and 2 over 5 sum and product of the roots another example we will have 3 y squared equals to 4y minus 8 so this is a quadratic equation because of y squared but let us make this of the form a y squared plus b y plus c equals to 0 so we need to transpose positive 4y to the other side and we also need to transpose negative 8 to the other side transposing we will have on the left side we still have here 3 y squared if we transpose positive 4 y this will change sign so from positive this will now become negative 4 y and negative 8 if we transpose this to the other side it will change sign for so from negative this will become positive 8 what will be left on the right side will be 0 so this is now of the form a y squared plus b y plus c equals to zero we can get the values of a b and c so the value of a here this is the numerical coefficient of our first term this is positive three and the value of b that is the numerical coefficient of the second term that is negative 4 and the value of c this is our constant and that is positive 8 now for our sum of the roots this is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 the formula for x sub 1 plus x sub 2 this is negative b all over a so this will be negative our b here this is negative 4 and our a is 
positive 3. Now, negative multiplied by negative, this will become positive. So this is positive 4 over 3. So to simplify this, 4 divided by 3, the whole number is 1. Copy the denominator. And 4 minus 3 is 1. So x sub 1 plus x sub 2. This is equal to 1 and 1 over 3. We will now solve x sub 1 times x sub 2. So x sub 1 times x sub 2. This is equal to c all over a. Now the value of c here or our constant that is positive 8 divided by a which is positive 3. So our x sub 1 times x sub 2, this will be equal to 8 divided by 3. The whole number here is 2. And then copy the denominator, which is 3. And then, so 2 times 3 is 6. So 8 minus 6, this is 2. So 2 and 2 over 3 is our final answer for x sub 1 times x sub 2. Sum and product of the roots. Another example, we have y squared plus 8y minus 9 equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation because of y raised to the power of 2 and this is already of the form a y squared plus by plus c equals to 0. So our value for a here, this is the numerical coefficient of our first term. And since there is no numerical coefficient here, this is understood as 1. Since 1 multiplied by y squared is equal to y squared. Again, our value for a is positive 1. Our value for b, this is the numerical coefficient of our second term, and this is positive 8. And the value for c, this is our third term, or the constant, this is negative 9. We can now find the sum and product of the roots. For the sum of the roots, this is x sub 1 plus x sub 2. And then the formula for x sub 1 plus x sub 2, that is negative b all over a. So negative and the value for b is positive 8 and divide this by the value of a which is 1. So negative multiplied by positive that is negative 8 all over 1 so this is negative 8. So our x sub 1 or the sum of the roots x sub 1 plus x sub 2 this is equal to negative 8. Let us now find the product of the roots. So the product of the roots here will be x sub 1 times x sub 2. So the formula for x sub 1 times x sub, x sub 2, that is c, all over a. The value for c is negative 9. Divide this by the value of a, which is positive 1. So our x sub 1 multiplied by x sub 2, this will be negative 9 divided by 1, negative 9. So negative 9, this is our final answer for x sub 1 times x sub 2. The sum and product of the roots. Another example, we have 8x squared plus x plus 5 equals to 0. Looking at the equation, this is a quadratic equation because of x raised to the power of 2. And this is already of the form, this is of the form a, a x squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So the value for a here, this is the numerical coefficient of our first term, and we have here positive 8. The value for b, this is the numerical coefficient of our second term. Since there is no numerical coefficient, 
it is understood the that the value of the numerical coefficient is positive 1. So B here is positive 1. Our C is the constant and this is positive 5. And then we are going to solve for the sum and product of the roots. For the sum of the roots, we have here x sub 1 plus x sub 2. x sub 1 plus x sub 2, this is equal to negative b all over a. So we have here negative, our b is 1, so this will be negative 1 divided by a, which is positive 8. So this is negative 1 over 8. This is our x sub 1 plus x sub 2. Again, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is negative 1 over 8. Let us now find for the product of the roots. Product of the roots. So x sub 1 multiplied by x sub 2. This is c all over a. The value of c here is positive 5 and divide this by the value of a which is positive 8. So 5 divided by 8 or 5 over 8, we cannot simplify this anymore. So x sub 1 multiplied by x sub 2, that is equal to positive 5 over 8. This is our final answer.